And welcome back to the Valley today. We're still tracking a line of storm stretching up and down our viewing area right now. One severe thunderstorm warning is still in effect from this one. It's in the northern portion of this line. It is definitely the strongest. We have a severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect for uh, portions of Marshall, Polk, Kitson, Roseau, Beltrami, and Pennington counties. This is until uh, this is uh, until 5:15. So uh, you can uh, prepare right now if you're in this area, this yellow box for uh, say winds up to 70 miles per hour and hail up to nickel size. I do want to put a track on this storm. It is uh, moving through the Thief River Falls area, the Greenbush area, approaching uh, the Roseau area, and uh, points off to the south, stretching into uh, northwestern Beltrami County through the next, uh, say, half hour or so. Uh, we're getting no reports of uh, power outage. We're getting power outage reports in the Felton and Hallock areas, and uh, definitely this is a dangerous storm. So if you're in its path, uh, take your severe thunderstorm precautions. Small interior room away from windows, preferably a basement. I do want to put a track on this one. It is moving off to the east around 60 miles per hour. So if you're in any of these areas, definitely take shelter. Prepare for 60 to 70 mile per hour winds and hail up to nickel size in diameter into the uh, Roseau area between now and say 515. Um, definitely take shelter. Spruce, Badger, uh, 534 a.m. Lake, and if it does hold together at 535, it will be into the War Road area. Again, this northern portion of the storm is the strongest severe thunderstorm warning, say from uh, the Red Lake area all the way to the Canadian border stretching uh, toward the Roseau area. That's a severe thunderstorm warning until 515 a.m. Now making our way further south, we do not have any active warnings, but say from the Ada area down toward the Sisseton area, you could you will see a lot of uh, 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 frequent lightning, heavy rain as it moves off to the east. Uh, it has moved through the Fargo area and stretches uh, into the Wapiton area as of right now. So I want to put a track on this one. This part is actually moving a little slower, about 35 miles per hour. So it will make its way into Lakes Country over the next hour. So between uh, now and, say, the top of the hour, Barnesville and the Wapiton Breckenridge area, prepare for this uh, strong storm in Monomen about 518, Faustin about 528, uh, the Fergus Falls area about 542, and the Clearbrook area around 550. As it moves through, uh, you could see, again, frequent rain, and uh, you can hear a lot of thunder outside as of right now. It goes through the Fargo area, but again, the southern portion of the storm is not non-severe, but still be prepared for the rain and the lightning, but around, uh, say, gusty winds, 30 to 40 miles per hour, not out of the question with this. Let's take a look at the hail size as of right now. We saw some strengthening in the Northern Valley. Reports of pea-sized hail here in Fargo. It looks like uh, we are seeing uh, definitely a weakening in the southern portion of the storm. The purple is uh, pea-sized hail or less, not even hitting the ground. We are seeing some blues on this map. It's the hail size estimate where you're seeing the blues moving through the Greenbush area, just north of the Thief River Falls area. Again, the strongest portion of this storm, uh, there is a chance of seeing, say, penny to as much as nickel-sized hail if these, uh, these do strengthen. Uh, so definitely, uh, here's the uh, radar again. I just want to show this to you uh, before we get to the uh, planner for today and the seven-day. Up and down the viewing area right now. So approaching, uh, say, areas just off to the east of Thief River Falls. Approaching the Roseau area, severe thunderstorm warning over the next, say, half hour for you. And uh, the southern portion, we are seeing uh, a strong storm, uh, uh, wind gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour, lots of lightning, heavy rain, and perhaps some small-sized hail from this one, about pea-sized. So uh, that's what we got as of right now. Uh, here's what to expect going through this morning, an isolated uh, thunderstorm, even possible through the morning hours. Then we sh should start to dry out around, say, noon, getting into the afternoon. Temperatures getting into the upper 80s, a thunderstorm storm as possible, especially into lakes.
country, most of us staying dry, but seasonably warm for the 4th of July. Now the dry weather does continue as we go through most of the rest of the week. Thursday, a high of 83, mostly sunny skies. Then for Friday, up to 86, all the way up to 90 for Saturday, mostly sunny skies through the first part of the weekend. Our next chance of some showers and storms on Sunday up to 83 and then back to sunny weather Monday and Tuesday as we stay into the mid to upper 80s. And I can hear that thunder and rain literally right now mm -hmm. as we're speaking here in the yeah, studio. Yeah, definitely. The, uh, the thunder has picked up and we're getting the rain too. All right. Thank you very much, Justin. Mm -hmm. Still to come here on the Valley Today, how to keep your pets safe during the 4th of July festivities.